you use Elementor Page Builder, you might notice a few differences since the last update, the inner sections being removed. Now instead you're going to find the container rather than the inner section. This of course can prove confusing, especially if you're really used to using the inner section to build your pages. So in this guide we're going to quickly go over how you can use the container keep your page building looking professional. So this is how it used to look like before the update. We used to have the intersections and it was very easy. We could simply just put it pretty much anywhere and it'll create different intersections within a section. Quite easy to understand and to be honest, this is what we've been used to. However, after the last update, we now have containers. There's no more intersection. Now with the new container, it looks a little bit different. So let's say for instance, we start with our main container, which is gonna be pointing downwards. So obviously anything that we add goes down below the previous one. Now, rather than an intersection, we're going to drag the container section into here and as you can see we actually have a slightly smaller container section within that container i know container container can all get a bit confusing however one of the things i actually prefer to this which at first it did take me a little while to get used to i'm not going to lie i was like how do i add more sections especially sideways because obviously it's easy to add underneath this is how the general wordpress builders you know made but we want to create different columns the inner container was good for this but it was limited whereas the container that we have now is actually less limited and once you get used to it is much better and it gives you more customization so for instance the problem now is that if I put an image in here I have an image but how do I put an image next to an image so I can have two columns or potentially three to do that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna select my container and from here I'm gonna select the direction of where I want the boxes to be added or the, the next container or column so rather than going down I want to do it on the right hand side now if I go and get another image I can now put it to the right side of that container and as you can see we now have two columns if I want to do it again I can simply put it to the right side of that container and now we have three columns and everything within its own little container here so let's say for instance if I just wanted to change the background just to this particular container I can and you know it's pretty much within that area that I want it also allows you to justify the content much easier whether you want it all centered whether you want it all at the end obviously it's not going to really much move I've only got pictures whether you want space between, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, one other thing that I didn't find easy at the start was to find where stretch is. You know, when you have it boxed or you have it full width, and potentially you might have it stretched as well. This is now found here. So stretch is right here in align items. Obviously, my default is stretch, so this isn't going to change much. However, if we in fact remove these and I put a text or a heading, you can see that it spans the full width because it is now stretched. If I close this down, you'll see that it goes all the way to the left. I can also align it easily by using the align section and because it's within the container I can align everything or I can align stuff individually so if I wanted to do it individually I'd simply click on this part instead you can really align it depending on what you need again if I wanted to add something to it because I've put the direction to the right it's now going to set the column to the right you can of course change this by coming over to the container section and let's say if I actually wanted the row as reverse so I wanted it on the left hand side I can do that by clicking that I can put it vertically or horizontally you've also got this option here with the gaps between and how much gap you want between each row you can of course set this to zero or change it accordingly the way it just makes a much easier method of being able to add your columns in different areas you can then stretch the columns to make them different sizes depending on how big you want each one and you know what it's actually much easier because before you had two and then you really had to fiddle around if you wanted a different amount or by deleting columns whereas now you can just add as many as you want and then just stretch it to the size that you want them so if I wanted a picture that small you know a picture that big video a heading it all fits nicely so guys I hope that's cleared everything up your page building needs with a container being updated from the inner sections and popping up now on the screen is a video about the eight best WordPress plugins for 2024 take a look we've got some great plugins in there which you might well need for your websites.